Hello, and welcome to another video of Math with Miss Adoy. On today's lesson, we're going to talk about clocks and how to tell time. For this lesson, we're going to start off with looking at a analog clock. Analog shows the face and hands to tell the time. This clock has 12 numbers. However, each number might represent something different when the hand of a clock points. For example, each clock has a long hand and a short hand. And these hands tell time. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These are the hours. When do you say those numbers highlighted, you're saying the hour of the time. But the long hand tells the minute. And the hand is so long that it counts up by fives. That changes all of our numbers on our clock because the one does not represent one if the minute hand is pointed on it. It represents five. The two represents 10. The three represents 15. Four. 20, 5, 25, 6, 30, 7, 35, 8, 40, 9, 45, 10, 50, 11, 55. And then when you add all of them up, you, and count up by fives, when you add all of the lines on the clock up, when you go all the way up to the top, you should get to 60, 60 minutes in one hour. Instead of saying 1260 or 60 o'clock, we just represent it with two zeros. Well, let's use that knowledge to tell the time that's right on the clock. Looking at the clock, we need to write our time with the hours on this end and the minutes on the other. What comes first? The hour. The hour hand points directly to the number. In this case, this represents three. So in our clock, I'm gonna write three. And the long hand is so long that it counts up by fives. And as you can see, it's on 12. That means we have to write zero, zero. This is what three o'clock looks like on a clock. Let's use that knowledge to answer some more questions. Ooh, look at the time on the clock. What time is it? Enter your answer in the boxes below. Again, this box would represent our hour and this box would represent our minute. Now, let's go ahead and annotate our clock. I'm going to start off by writing 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And now I remember that we're going to write our hour first. Our hour is the shorthand. And because the shorthand is in between 12 and 1, that means that it's actually 12 o'clock. You always take the time before. Between 12 and 1, you take this one. 
And now the long hand is so long that it counts up by fives and it's pointing to four. That means it's 12, 20. All right, last question. Jamal wakes up in the morning at the time shown on the clock. What time does Jamal wake up? Hmm. Again, we're not going to annotate the whole clock this time. Let's just annotate where our numbers are. So I see it's on four, so I'm going to say 20, 25, 30. Just a simple annotation. Or you could go backwards. And you could start off with 5, 10, 15, 20. Next, take a look at the shorthand. The shorthand is pointing to the number. This shorthand is pointing to 7. So right now we're going to look at all of our answer choices. And I see that it says Jamal wakes up at 820. And that's not true. It says 8.20 p.m. A.m. and p.m. just mean morning or day. And because they're the same number, that can't be right. We're down to two. But the key word here is morning. Morning means a.m. So Jamal did wake up at 7.20 a.m.